Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 17-18 uh, Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. This is four box, random team break number 13 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. One spot gets you two teams. Um, oh, and the Vegas Golden Knights are in here. This is 17-18. What do we combo? Oh, Wild and Lightning. All right, so let's combo the Minnesota Wild. Actually, let's go down to the Tampa Bay Lightning. And combine them with the wild to make wild lightning. So there's your combo team. And let's randomize each list. Five and a two, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, and a two. Six and seven. All right, so we got Derek down to Marty. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a two. Six and seven, then final time. After seven, we've got the St. Louis Blues down to the Dallas Stars. All right, so Derek with the Blues, Karen with the Flyers, Scott, you got the Hurricanes, William L., Maple Leafs and Golden Knights, Scott with the Flames, William with the Coyotes, Marty with the Avs, Nino, you got my Kings, Oilers for Yolanda, uh, Big Boys 007 with the Blackhawks, Derek with the Ducks, Eric with the Panthers, Big Boys 007 Devils, Jonah, you got the Preds, Wild and Lightning, the Wild Lightning for William L., Eric with the Rangers, Derek with the Senators, Laurel with the Sabres, Jonah with the Penguins, Mark Peters Jr. with the Penguin, with the Jets, that is. Nino, your other last spot mojo spot, Boston Bruins. Scott McNulty, Canucks, Karen with the Caps, Blue Jackets for Scott, Yolanda with the Red Wings, Derek with the Sharks, Mark Peters Jr. with the Islanders, Laurel with the Canadiens, and Marty with the Dallas Stars. All right, so trades are allowed, so feel free to trade if you'd like. And while you're considering trades... This SP Authentic comes from a completely fresh master case. So I got to I got to master the opening of this case here. Actually, I should have done it out there now that I think about it. All right. Now, we're first of all, we're going to select the inner case. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 on the dice roll. Just kind of toss it in there. It's going to be a one, left side. So that's the one we're going to do right now. And this will be for next time. All right, now let's pop this open. And Indy 87, wondering if the Capitals are for trade. What teams do you have? I think Karen has the Caps. All right, so there's four on each side. And so now we're going to see, we're going to roll the die again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll see which side we're going to do there. And it's going to be six. We're going to do the right side. So this side will be reserved for break 14. So we'll mark these. So we'll mark those 14. So we can do these next time. Let's get this, move these out of the way here. Okay. 
Oh, okay, so you're Mark. The MPJ. I'm not sure if Karen is here at the moment. But I think we're going to have to go. All right, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Sorry, Mark. TWC trade window closed. Let's print this out. This is for the shipping team to use. So let's print that out and let's go. Let's do this. So it's been a minute or two since we've done this. But remember, every box contains at least one future watch autograph, two autos total per box. Um, a lot of fun parallels in here. The other thing that I really like in here is um, is that the fact that we're chasing this parallel. So there, you see the red parallels that are in there. We've seen a lot of those. I think those are almost the red parallels must be like one per pack or something like that, or one every other pack. Anyhow, there is a um, there's a black parallel which I've looked up on eBay that looks really cool. We have not pulled one yet. We've done a lot of boxes. We've done, what is this, break 13? Here it is right here. This is break 13. We still haven't seen one of those. So it would be cool to see. There's the official list. Print it out. Good luck, everybody. And I'll have the next half in the store uh, once this one is done. Um, someone was saying that the NHL draft is tonight or tomorrow night. So who's the who's the next big name in the hot? Who's that supposed to be? So I, I don't follow hockey super closely. Not as close. I do. I follow a little bit, but not as closely as I should, and certainly not as closely as some of the other sports. So. This is a time for me to learn, ladies and gentlemen, so let me know what info you got. Oh, it's on now. Bill saying Dahlin from Sweden. Ramus. Ramus is a great name. Ramus Dahlin. Was he the number one pick? Who did he go to? A defenseman. Don't we want, like, centers? <laughs> Wing players to be... Isn't that good for the hobby? I guess defenders still attack too. So, all right. So the so the sabers. Okay. So the sabers will be more expensive next year if we do pick your teams. Gotcha. Where is the NHL draft? Do they? I should have actually flipped the channel on my TV to the NHL draft. Is it a big spectacle? Do they do they do it big? Oh, I see in Dallas at the American Airlines Center. All right, so let's check out these guys. Let's start off with Luongo, Adam Henrique. Authentic moments. Matt Duchesne. Milestones. And we've got Heinrich Hapala, level one, Spectrum FX level one. That'll go to Florida, and that'll be for Eric B. Marcus Johansson, Spectrum FX for the New Jersey Devils. That'll be for Big Boys 007. Uh, 
Wayne Gretzky milestones. Oilers edition. And Clayton Keller is our first autograph. 756 out of 999. For the Arizona Coyotes, I'll go to William L. Our next autograph is JT Comfer, 377 out of 999 for the Avs. Marty with the Avalanche. Young Guns for the Rangers. Milestones, Mario Lemieux. Cyborg, Yarmir Yager. Yarmir Yager officially on the Jaspies Cyborg list. The list of athletes who we believe are cyborgs because of their unusually long playing careers. It's particularly in a violent sport like hockey. All right? Tom Brady could be a cyborg too. Although they don't let you hit quarterbacks anymore. Um, I'll bet... Uh, who else? Uh, Vince Sanity. Yeah, Nino's like, who else is on that list? Yager is a cyborg. Tom Brady, potential cyborg. Um, I feel like LeBron James, potential cyborg. Vince Carter, definitely a cyborg. Bartolo Colon, cyborg. At some point, they, 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 have, they have replaced body parts with, with, with that of a machine, Nino, which gives them an unusually long playing career in a physically demanding sport. How old's Roger Federer? Cristiano Ronaldo's not that old. Cristiano Ronaldo's like 33. Like, y Yager is like 40, 48, right? Yager's like 55 years old and he's still playing hockey. Yeah, well, okay. CR CR seven is the same age as LeBron. Oh, okay. He's the same age as LeBron. Here's the thing, though. LeBron plays like forty eight minutes a night. Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't play ninety minutes a game. At least not in league game. Maybe he does. I don't know. He 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 fell off a little bit in the regular season this year in La Liga. Bartolo Colon definitely a big cyborg. But I don't know how a man of that weight. And that age continues to pitch effectively. Every other start, he has a good start. You know, they're not like amazing performances, but that's definitely Cyborg. Like his, his knees that support that frame, his back, that must be some sort of machine. More, he may be more machine than man. How old Zebo, William L.? He's a little long in the tooth too, right? There, 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 there's some other there other cyborgs out there too. Like what? What? I, I, I'm trying to think of more football players that have that are currently playing who are far older than they should be, but still effective. Like meanwhile, like JJ Watts, like injured, like for the last been been injured for like the last three seasons. And then you have other old guys who are just still rocking and rolling at a nine ninety nine for the Coyotes. Future watch. There's Will Butcher for the Devils. Level 2 Spectrum FX. New Jersey Devils. Big Boys 007. New Jersey Devils. That'll be for Big Boys 007. 
Sydney, Sydney Crosby, Spectrum FX for the Penguins. Jonah with that one. That's a good one, Rex. Yeah, Nolan Ryan was a, definitely a cyborg. He is definitely more machine than man because he was he was beating up Robin Ventura. Young pup Robin Ventura was getting beaten up by like 45-year-old Nolan Ryan or something like that. 62-year-old Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Definitely a cyborg. Uh, David Kampf, Young Guns. I like that. I like that they throw the Young Guns cards in here too. Another one and another Avs autograph. Alex Kerfoot, three forty-six out of nine at ninety-nine for Colorado, and that'll be for Marty. Riley Barber for the Caps. Future Watch, 341 out of 999. Karen with the Washington Capitals, your Stanley Cup champs. Let's set that right there, actually. Oh, yeah. Good, good call. Death, 1510. Ichiro. Definitely, Ichiro, definitely a cyborg. I want Ichiro to be in the Home Run Derby this year, by the way. Uh, well, you, you can't be sad about that, Mark Peters. Indy 87. There was no guarantee that she would have traded you the Capitals. Now, if she came in here and was like, I would have, <laughs> then sad face. All right, we are halfway through this break. Rex is saying the best part of that entire Nolan, Nolan Ryan Ventura fight was a look on Ventura's face when he charged the mound, yeah. When he got there, he was like, uh-oh, he's not backing down. The other best part of the story, Rex, is um, is that I think, I think the reason why... Nolan Ryan challenged Ventura in the first place was a grudge going back to spring training where I think Nolan, where I think Ventura hit a dinger off of Nolan Ryan in spring training, a young Robin Ventura. And I think Ventura must have admired it a little too long or something like that. Or maybe it wasn't even off Nolan Ryan. But at some point, Nolan Ryan was in the dugout and, was saying, and said to a teammate, who is that a-hole? Who is that punk, basically, right? And then it's like, oh, well, Nolan, that's Robin Ventura. He's like, okay, well, next time I see him, if I ever see him, I'm going to hit him. <laughs> I'm going to teach him. <laughs> he just wanted to teach the young pup a lesson. This old, grizzled, you know, Nolan Ryan, get off my lawn, Nolan Ryan. And sure enough, Rangers faced the White Sox. I think it was the White Sox. And I think it was the Rangers, too. Down goes Ventura. <laughs> Baseball players hold grudges. Uh, Jason L. saying, oh yeah, that Spurs team, definitely cyborg cyborgism going on there. Cyborgism? Yeah, that Duncan, Parker, Ginobili. I mean, those guys are still playing. I mean, maybe... Jason L. I don't know. This might be too. This might be too crazy. But maybe Greg Popovich is a mad scientist. I mean, work with me here. Maybe Greg Popovich is a mad scientist and can can put cyborg parts inside players. And maybe Kawhi Leonard just didn't want to be a cyborg. He's like, I don't want to be a Spurs cyborg. No way, man. I'm out of here. I'm going to train by myself and rehab in New York while you guys are in, didn't want to do it. So that's where the fallout happened because Kawhi said, I am a non-cyborg. I'm a non-cyborg guy, you know? 
And Pop is like, you can't tell anybody about this lab. Kawhi's like, you know what? I don't even want to be here anymore. I'm a human being, not a cyborg. I'm going to the Lakers. <laughs> there you go. Done. That's what's going on. I figured it out, folks. That's the beef between Kawhi. Exactly. He didn't want the upgrade. Kawhi was like, I'm going to do it as a human being. And so that's, that's how it started. Young Guns, Travis Boyd. Good for you, Kawhi Leonard. Be a cyborg. Didn't want to be a cyborg. It's okay. You know, folks, believe it or not, this may be a topic of conversation 20, 30 years from now. Tyson Yost, another autograph for the Avs. 205 out of 999. Even I know this guy. Marty with the Avs. This might be a topic of conversation in the future as medical technology increases and improves and grows exponentially. At one point, like what if Victor Hedman destroys his leg, right? And we've seen some of this debate with um, the Blade guy, the guy that ended up killing his wife, Pistorius. All right, how much of you can be machine? How much of you can be artificial to play professional sports? There's Mike Amadio for the Kings, 931 out of 999. LA Kings, Nino with my Kings. Last spot mojo too. So I think that's a topic of conversation, a, a philosophical question that we may need to ask ourselves in professional sports 20, 30 years from now. Ben Bishop, Spectrum FX. Dallas Stars with that one. That'll be for Marty. Rex says, if you can't use performance-enhancing drugs, you can't use artificial limbs. Sign of the Times. Richard Panic. Is this Joe Panic's brother? Arizona Coyotes goes to William L. So if Richard Panic loses a, a hand in a in a in a tree in a tree trimming accident, right? And there's technology where he can get an artificial hand, are you saying he can't be in the NH can't be in the NHL anymore? It's a little unfair. That's why cyborgs haven't come out yet. They don't they don't they don't they don't want to be kicked out of the league. An anti cyborg backlash. There's Patrick Lyon eh? for the Jets. I'll go to Mark Peters Jr. to the MPJ. Adam Henrique and Austin Matthews in the back here. All right, last box coming up. So Rex says no performance enhancing limbs. So if the if the artificial limb is believed to enhance your performance far beyond what a natural limb would do, then Rex says no. But if it's just like I don't know. If it's replacing something that isn't as important, I guess, in sports, that's okay. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Yarmir Yager for starting the cyborg talk. Wow. And Nino reporting that NT Soccer number three sold out and only four left in NT4. Great, because once NT3 and 4 sell out, I can post the last case of National Treasure Soccer uh, as pick your team 5 and 6. Uh, Rex saying, unless all the players have them, 
have a, an artificial limb, so then we, there becomes like some sort of cyborg league. I don't know. I think it's actually an interesting question. I think people think it's might, may think it's silly now, but your children or your children's children may uh, may have to deal with this philosophical question. Right. Stephen K says it'll be a question until enough cyborgs complain they are being treated unfairly from the technology enhancing, technology enhanced shaming they're facing. Jeez, this could be an issue. This is an issue with uh, self-driving cars as well. The people who program self-driving cars. Look it up. There's 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 an interesting phil philosophical question. Do if you're in a self-driving car and you're in a in a situation where you have to make evasive maneuvers, do you make the evasive maneuver? To protect the driver, if it means killing two pedestrians, or do you sacrifice the driver for the two, you know? So there's actually questions about that because someone has a computer program that. Self-driving cars are scary. All right, <laughs> Patrick Waugh, Parallel, our last box, ladies and gentlemen. See, this is what you get at Jaspie's Hobbyland, weird combos. Weird, weird philosophical talk and fun case breaks. Uh, there's John Gillies, I think. Flames, Calgary. Yoga Flame for Scott McNulty and the Calgary Flames. Level 1. Sean Corturier, Spectrum FX for the Flyers. That'll be for Karen with the Philadelphia Flyers. Matthews there. Rex says they need to worry more about flying cars instead of self-driving cars. That's true. Flying cars would be even worse. I mean, basically, everybody needs a pilot's license. There's Jeff Glass for the Blackhawks, Young Guns. A lot of flight controllers too. A redemption. Ah, William L with a with a with a theory there. Self flying cars problem solved. Tage Thompson at a nine. nine. That's probably what will happen. I can see self-flying cars happening before we can actually operate flying cars. For the Blues, Derek with the Blues. And the redemption is, is Pierre-Luc Dubois. Blue Jackets? Columbus Blue Jackets, that goes to Scott McNulty. There you go. And that's it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for the break, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.